Rio Rancho's first neighborhood brew pub has just celebrated their 16th anniversary, commemorating years of delicious foods and their handcrafted ales. And it's all being recognized in a big celebration dinner next week. Now, this morning, head and sous chefs Chuck Simpson and Chris Blanchine, did I say that right? Correct. Okay, are previewing what you'll enjoy at their dinner. So thanks, guys, for joining us. It smells delicious in here. We're going to be making some yummy stuff. But first, tell me a little check about your guys's 16th birthday. <laughs> uh, that's right. March 22nd marked our 16th anniversary. Okay, very and, cool. And we're commemorating with uh, a brewmaster dinner where we're going to uh, pair our craft uh, brewed ales. Yeah. Um, and we also, for the first time ever, bottled a beer. Perfect. So tell me more about that. You brought a special beer just for the occasion. Yeah, yeah we brought it right here. It's called okay. the Wildia. Ooh. As German for a wild hunt. Okay. And like I said, for the first time in 16 years, we bottled it. Uh, after the beer was brewed, it was uh, aged for three months in wine barrels. Wow. And then every single bottle was hand bottled, uh -huh. hand capped, labeled, and hand waxed. Okay. So a lot of TLC went into this. Yeah, absolutely. And you guys are going to have that at the brew dinner, correct? The brewmaster um, dinner. Actually, that's available right now at the restaurant. Oh, you don't even so, have to wait. Yeah, we don't distribute nice. or anything, so you have to come to the restaurant to get that bottle. Okay, perfect. And we're also going to be making something that you guys are going to be serving then at the dinner? Correct. Okay, so what are we making today? Okay, so today we're going to be doing a Jamaican jerk uh, pork skewer. Ooh. So um, the theme of our dinner this, uh -huh. this year is called hog wild. Okay. So every dish is going to have pork in it including the dessert. Nice. So um, yeah, we're, we kind of find it fun to yeah. make it a little interesting. <laughs> the dessert you know I mean? thing, kind of questioning that, but I believe you. <laughs> I, I got you. It'll be good, I okay, promise. Okay, <laughs> perfect. And so we're going to be making the coleslaw right now? Yes, ma'am. So we're going to start with uh, about eight heads of uh, Napa cabbage okay. that we shredded down. So it's about eight cups right there. We have uh, six green onions. Okay. So you just want to kind of toss everything in there. It's real simple, you know, yeah. fresh mango. There's a cup of fresh Ooh. mango. You put that in there. That's going to give it that nice, sweet little touch. Yeah, a little touch, yep. Um, and then uh, one whole bell pepper, okay. large bell pepper, just julienned up. You know, it's simple. You mm -hmm. know, anybody can do this in their house. Yeah. Um, and then th that's your uh, vegetable ingredients right there. Okay. And then in here, we have a, uh, a rice wine vinegar, uh, more mango puree, and some sugar. Okay. So that's kind of like instead of using the cream and stuff, we're using, yeah. we're using fresh fruit. Yeah, so not too bad for you as far as the health things go right nope, nope. Yeah. real bright tasting yeah, yeah. instead of mayonnaise or, or sour cream or things that typically you find in slaw we're, we're doing fresh yeah <laughs> so count me in for three scoops of that <laughs> <laughs> so we have right? a little bit of ground ginger okay white pepper yeah kosher salt nice. and the other ingredient is black poppy seed okay Perfect. Okay. So you just take all that and mix it yeah. together, and then there you go. You know, instead of having like easy. you know a regular salad, you have a little cabbage salad. That's yeah, nice. easy enough. And like you said, it's easy if maybe you're thinking, oh, I can try that at home. You have the ingredients right there. Everything yeah, you're gonna find. Yeah. Any grocery store nice. has all these ingredients. And okay, so tell me more about this dinner. This slaw is gonna be served at the dinner. Correct. This is gonna be our appetizer course. Okay. And then you also have the pork skewers that are gonna be there. Correct. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. And the dessert. Tell me about that. <laughs> All right. Okay, we're, we're still conceiving this idea, but okay. we want to do candy bacon somehow, Ooh. paired with maple. Okay. And we're thinking we're going to do a maple custard. Nice. I'm, it sounds interesting. I don't think I've ever tried anything like that, but I'd be interested in that. And tell me, when is the dinner? Uh, that'll be April 21st. April 21st. Yeah, you can go to turtlemountainbrewing.com and, okay. and the menu will be posted there. Okay. Is that something we need to get tickets for? It's, yeah, it's limited okay. seat, seating. We'll probably only do 40 seats, and you have to come to the restaurant. And turn, come to, to the restaurant, okay, to reserve it. And that's where mm -hmm. the dinner is going to be held? That's right. Gotcha. Now, as far as the restaurant itself, where are you guys located? Uh, we're at 90536 Place in Rio Rancho. Oh, okay. And are you open every day? Yeah, every day. Every day for lunch, and do you guys have some sort of happy hour? Maybe? Yeah, we do happy hour 3 to 6, Monday through Friday. Monday through Friday, yeah, there's, okay. There's beer specials. There's dinner uh, uh, food specials yeah we run daily food specials we do seasonal uh, brewmaster dinners and beer pairings and wine pairings yeah we're always active on yeah something. perfect and to, to finish this up have a few seconds left this we just kind of plate this yeah you just kind of plate it uh, so we have a little sample right there this so is the final product what's the green sauce underneath oh so it? the green sauce on there what that is it's a it's a minted sweet pea coolie okay so all it is is some caramelized onions some mm -hmm. white wine 
um, some fresh mint and yeah. pureed peas, sweet peas, so spring peas, you know, something mm. that's in season right now. Yeah. Um, and it's real good for you. And this skewer you know. is super easy to pull off at home. If you cube up some pork, yeah. some pork loin, you just marinate it in oil, vinegar, uh -huh. uh, jerk seasoning. Um, marinate it for a couple hours. You can, once you skewer them up, you can pan yeah. sear them, finish them in your oven, or even just do them on your grill. Sounds good. I want to try your guys' stuff. So I'm going to try that slaw during the break, and I'll let you guys know how it goes. For more information on Turtle Mountain Brewing Company, go ahead and visit our website, karakui.com. We'll be right back.